only one solar system in one galaxy out of many, many, many. Um, so I find it hard just by a numbers game to imagine that there's nothing else out there, especially with the small fraction that we have explored ourselves. I don't know why, if there is, if there are other forms of life, if they're just not advanced enough to send signals and, and why we haven't received anything yet. Um, and I'm really not sure if anything exists the way that movies kind of portray something like an alien uh, um, behaving, but I think there must be something out there, even if it's just some microbe in a cave somewhere by some geothermal vent on some other planet or moon. I, I don't know, there's gotta be something, you know? I think we will, we will expand out to at least Mars. I don't know about visiting planets that are further away because I'm not, it all depends what questions we're gonna answer by going there. I think we'll learn a lot if we go to some of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. Those are pretty interesting because we see water on a lot of those moons and a lot of hydrothermal activity. So if we're looking for life in our own solar system, it's really, I mean, celestially, it's just in our backyard and that's a really good place to go. So maybe we'll go someplace like that, but I'm not sure what the benefits would be going to going further afield. Yeah, I think there is. It depends what you mean by Earth-like, but if you're talking about something that's just the right distance from the sun or from a star, not our sun, but um, not our star, but I think there are planets which are in that, they call it the Goldilocks zone because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's just at the right spot. Um, in each solar system. So there are other planets like that. I think it takes between six to nine months to get people to Mars. Um, and then once you're there, obviously you want to stay a while. So I'd say you'd stay about a year and then six to nine months to get back. So the mission would be two years at minimum, in my opinion. Um, as far as when we as humans will actually go to Mars, I still think it's a little ways away.